Hello YouTube. So I want to speak a little bit today about the HP axis and specifically um, results of chronic stress on the HPA axis. So in order to do that, first of all, we need to talk about <clears throat> what the HPA axis is. This would stand for, the acronym stands for, hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. These are three organs that are part of the neuroendocrine system, meaning both endocrine and nervous system, um, that basically have a lot to do with, with stress. Now the endocrine system in general is all about secreting hormones that regulate all sorts of uh, mechanisms and feedback loops in the body. So you have hormones that pretty much do everything pretty much everything important in your body, um, from telling your cells to, that it's okay to take glucose out of the blood and into um, the cell, to telling them the opposite, right? So insulin says, okay, uh, the pancreas shoots out in insulin, okay, it's okay to take glucose out of the blood, um, and if it's not an appropriate time to take glucose out of the blood, um, then glucagon is the opposing hormone that the liver will shoot out and say, nope, you know what, we haven't eaten in a while and we need to maintain the glucose in the blood for those that need it most, such as um, the brain. And um, so this is one way you, you, you regulate these sorts of processes in the body with hormones. And sometimes even the concentration of whatever it is that you're regu regulating um, when that the concentration in the blood uh, of that particular thing goes up, you have receptors that tell um, certain parts of the brain that are controlling this, um, look, the concentration of this hormone is higher now, so you can go ahead and shut off your, your telling this organ down here to secrete this hormone, right? So hypothalamus, pituitary, and adrenal, they come into play because they are involved in responding to stress. So, for example, the hypothalamus, um, probably the easiest way to think about him, I'm going to call it a him, um, would be, uh, he's the godfather of the whole endocrine system. So, command central, he issues the order. We are going to take out that person over there, right? He sends out the order, but he doesn't want to do the work himself. So, he basically tells the pituitary gland, which is like middle management, okay, you need to get some of your peons at the bottom to do my dirty work. Go do the hit on this particular, the adrenal glands need to do a hit, right? So then pituitary gland, in turn, tells the adrenal glands to shoot out their hormones. I use the word shoot deliberately for fun, guys. Okay, so they shoot out their hormones, right? And then once the job is done, um, there, you know, again, the godfather doesn't really want to do the dirty work himself. So what does he do? He, he doesn't want to check up on his, his peons at the bottom. He has a region of the brain called the hippocampus that largely um, senses this whole HPA axis and shuts it down through kind of a negative feedback loop. So when the concentration of cortisol, which is a stress hormone, increases in the blood, then um, the hippocampus goes, okay, high levels of cortisol in the blood, so we can, we can turn this thing off. Well, in order to sense what's happening, the hippocampus has a lot of what are called glucocorticoid receptors, right? So he can sense, right? You got to be able to sense what you're watching for, that all these guys did their job. Did the adrenal shoot out the cortisol like they were supposed to? Have they betrayed us to the other family? I don't know, right? So that, um, that's the job of the hippocampus, is to check up on if this thing's really happening. Well, here's the unfortunate part. The hippocampus gets caught in the crossfire a lot of the time. So hippocampus, because it has all these receptors, the chronic effects of stress, so this cortisol being shot out of the adrenals perpetually, um, goes and docks on these receptors in the hippocampus. Well, that damages regions of the hippocampus, and we actually see um, shrinkage. We see atrophy um, of the regions of the hippocampus. 
we see um, we see cell death, apoptosis, um, in the hippocampus in particular, which is unfortunate because the hippocampus has a lot to do in terms of its its other duties. It um, is about memory, particularly new memory formation and where to store new memories. Um, and so when you're under chronic stress, say it's a complex PTSD, PTSD, DID situation, meaning dissociative identity disorder, um, one of the symptoms that you, you observe um, is that there are memory deficits. You know, people have these even sometimes gaps of time where they um, cannot remember what happened or they feel almost um, like they can't concentrate. They'll, they'll just go blank all of a sudden. They'll feel foggy. Um, all of these are symptoms of um, this particular region of the brain, the hippocampus, um, coming into play with this HPA axis um, dysregulation. So there are ways to address this, in particular natural ways to address this. And some of you that follow my channel may have already guessed what we can do about this, but I will share it in um, a future video in terms of how to rectify the situation of shrinkage of the hippocampus region of the brain. And, um, and so doing how to sort of re-regulate the HV axis and um, address uh, the effects of chronic complex PTSD, PTSD, etc. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is Dr. Jen Botham, uh, a.k.a. Crunchy Doc. Thanks.